Good morning, folks. We've got a couple things to hit today. Sunspots are surging. Solar flares kicked up a bit as we expected yesterday. And we've got stories on asteroids, lightning, and the heliosphere. We are starting with our star, and we find the last 24 hours did not have significant Earth-directed eruptions. The solar wind is relatively calm, and so are geomagnetic conditions. But we had two M-class solar flares and several more in the high C-class range. We've been looking at GOES SUVI in these images, and this 94 Angstrom's view shows the flashes of the flares at the sunspot groups. Let's take a moment to get a better look at those active regions. As you can see, some of the sunspot groups have grown considerably, while others have lost complexity or have entered a decay phase. The big group incoming on the north produced one of the M-class flares. It is the biggest of the bunch and has considerable size to its umbral cores. We will continue monitoring those sunspots today. Let's go to the Trojan asteroids. Lucy has snapped its first time-lapse shots of several key targets. You can see those asteroids as they move against the background stars here. All of these are Jovian Trojan asteroids out near the orbit of Jupiter. Amazing study up next. A powerful lightning strike has created new materials as it struck a tree. This is not unlike how a lightning strike can make glass when it hits sand. And these materials, in this specific example, have never before been found to be produced naturally on Earth, and they provide a window into what veteran observers know as the cosmic thunderbolt, the great strikes in history that have painted deserts, burned rock, etc. It's an amazing find. Last but not least, the data has been fully reviewed from the 2019 IBEX ribbon scoping and compared with what they did back in 2009. Wow, what a difference. The heliospheric feature resulting from interactions of the sun's magnetic field with interstellar space has changed so much in just one solar cycle. The images were both taken at the low point in the solar cycle where solar wind was anemic and compared fairly well between the two time periods. Now, while the study obviously doesn't touch on this topic, it's hard for me to imagine such a wild change in the ribbon without the ongoing and shifting character of impact by the galactic current sheet. With all of the changes throughout the planets, the sun, and interplanetary space that hint at the galactic magnetic reversal taking place, one could have come back at us saying, well then, we should be seeing a pretty darn big change in the ribbon. There it is. We greatly appreciate your support. All your resources are listed below the video. Check them out. If you didn't catch last night's special video, click our channel name to go to our homepage and catch up. Subscribe and we'll do this all again tomorrow. Right here, but right now, it's 5.30 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.